Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be showing you all the polishes I wore for the month of August. So if you guys have been watching for a while or you follow me on Instagram, August was my Skittle Style Collaboration Month with Angela from Instagram. On Instagram, she's the joy of polish. I'll link her Instagram account down below. And um, I do just want to apologize to Angela and the rest of you guys that did participate in Skittle Style. I feel like with so much going on this month, like I wasn't completely into the collaboration and I didn't get that many manicures done. Um, I was supposed to be f putting together videos of everybody's Skittle style manis and I haven't done that yet. So I'm planning to do that in the next few days and I'll just include everyone's Skittle style manis for the whole month. But um, I just do feel like my mind was not completely in it and so for that I do apologize. I do feel like um, I could have been a little bit better this month so I am sorry about that. Um, but I did wear some amazing Skittle manicure combos that I totally loved. I thought you guys had some amazing Skittle manicure combos that I loved. And so, um, let's get into the polish because even though I didn't do a ton of manis, I have a lot of polish to talk about. So the first Skittle manicure of the month was the combination of these three polishes um and you guys i loved this combo i thought it was so so pretty and um i feel like this summer i didn't intentionally mean to but a lot of my polishes had like this kind of like teal vibe going and i must have been in a teal mood because when i look back i wore a lot of teal polish for the summer so the first polish i'm going to talk about is called was it all just a dream this was from the opi grease summer collection and you guys, I loved this polish. Um, I have a lot of polishes similar to it, but this is just a gorgeous color. Um, it had a great formula, two to three coats to get opaque, easy coats, it's not runny, streaky, any of those issues. Um, I thought this was a really, really gorgeous polish. The next polish is also from the Grease Collection, and this is called Teal Me More, Teal Me More. And you guys, look at this freaking color. It's so pretty, I love this type of color. For the fall i don't usually pull it out for the summer but i did enjoy it for this skittle manicure um if you watch my review of the grease collection this was a one coat polish one coat to get opaque and it also is not a stainer which for this type of color is amazing because most polishes this dark stain the nails this one does not stain it doesn't stain nails it doesn't stain like cuticle or skin on removal which is amazing and it has a gorgeous gorgeous color and then the one coat to get opaque it's like the perfect polish pretty much and then the last one came from the april's polish pickup this is called i have the power from anchor and heart lacquer um this was based off he-man and she-ra you guys i love he-man and she-ra my cousin and i would watch that when we were small just over and over and over and then like he had a he-man doll i had a she-ra doll we just we were so into that this polish is just gorgeous it's a very shimmery turquoise polish with um multi-chrome flakies in it and it has like other little bits of darker turquoise glitter which i really really love the formula on this did take three coats to get opaque but i think it's just because the base color was so light um but the coats aren't bad um you know they go on easy it's not a hard polish to apply but it does take three coats so i loved this combo you guys i thought it was so so pretty on the nails um so that was the first combo of the month the next combo was like total love it was like a barbie nails pink like everything i love in polish was in this one manicure and I was just so so in love with it you guys um so it was a combination of these three polishes and oh it was so so pretty i will definitely recreate this mani i feel um like maybe around valentine's day or in the summer again because i was in love it was just gorgeous so the first polish in that combination i'm going to talk about is called pink a card and this was from sally hansen complete salon manicure and it's kind of like a dusty um lilac -y leaning pink and the formula on this was good it was two coats to get opaque and then i love the sally hansen um thick brush you guys i just think that this brush makes polishing your nails so so easy like you pretty much the brush fits like right into my cuticle and then just boom like 
one stroke, maybe two, and that's it. So I really, really do love this color. I thought it was super, super pretty. And then the next polish is called Desire from LA Girl Gel Extreme Shine. This is like my favorite pink of the moment. Anytime I want to wear a pink and I don't know what pink it's going to be, this is the pink I grab for. I wouldn't call this Barbie necessarily. I think it's a little bit more bright than what I consider a Barbie pink. But you guys, this color is so, so gorgeous. Um, it has a two coat formula, dries super, super shiny. Um, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous polish. And then the last polish in the combination is from Polish. And this is called Glitoris. I love that name. I think it's hilarious. Um, but this is just a bunch of like pink glitter with iridescent flakies and a little bit of like holographic. Look at that in the bottle. It's just like completely amazing. So this is two to three coats to get opaque. Um, easy coats, easy to apply. Beautiful, beautiful polish. Um, this for sure was my favorite combination of the month. I just loved the way this looked on the nails. The next polishes I used for um, a Skittle manicure were these two Essies from the Ulta exclusive um, collection, Mercury and Retrograde. And you guys, I was like dying to get my hands on these. Someone posted the press release for these on the Makeup Belly nail board and I was like, I need them. So then when they got online on the Ulta site, I like waited around and didn't order right away. I don't know why. Like I guess I was like, well maybe I'll see them in store or... I don't know what I was thinking, but then when I went on to order, they were sold out. And I was just like, oh my gosh. And so then I sent my sister all over where she lives to all the Ultas, and they didn't have it. And then my Ulta that I usually go to didn't have it. Then my sister went on vacation, and none of the Ultas she stopped at in Las Vegas had it. And I was just like, I'm never going to get these polishes. Like, why did I wait around? And then... um. Someone on the nail board was like, they're back online. And so I went on and I just threw them on my cart and I was like, I'm not going to stress about this anymore. I'm going to get my polish and that's it. So I ended up getting both and I was super excited. Um, so I did a review video of these. I'll link that down below in case you guys haven't seen it. But um, the first polish is called Keep Calm and this is more of a topper. You can wear it on its own, but it's very, very sheer. You would never get it opaque. Um, but if you like that, like sheer but more look you i mean this would be right up your alley i think but i wear mine as a topper so in the skittle mani i had one coat of this over black polish and then one coat of this over white polish on some of the nails and i really really thought it was very very pretty but this one you guys oh this was my favorite look at this it's like blue but purple Look at that shift. It's so, so pretty. Um, The formula on this was good. Two to three coats to get opaque. I was able to get it opaque in two. It's just to die for. Like, I put out my fall polish rack already, which I have to film a video on still, but this is on it because it's amazing. I am in love with this polish. Um, And just in case you didn't watch the video, the SC has a dupe. So if you were sad you couldn't find this, um... Let Your Twilight Sparkle from the My Little Pony China Glaze collection is extremely similar. Um, especially when you put them on as toppers, I thought that it was like pretty much dead on. So if you didn't get this and you have this, just know they are very, very close. Then the next combination I put on, um, I did a little bit of nail art and I did these three polishes together and then I did a little bit of a dot of cure. And so this was very summery, very bright, lots of neon. Um, and the first polish is Scenic Route from Orly. This was a gorgeous polish, you guys. I love this color. It's kind of like a cross between a pink and a purple. And it got opaque in two coats. It has a great formula and it's just a really, really gorgeous summer polish. Next one is Life Gave Me Lemons from OPI. This is a kind of cross between a green and yellow neon. This polish stained my nails, so be warned. I did have base coat on when I um, did the manicure, but when I went to remove, my nails were stained slightly yellow. And oh, formula on this was good. Um, two coats to get opaque. 
And then the next polish is from Nina Ultra Pro. This is called Punky Pink, and this is just a really bright neon pink polish. I wore this for a glitter gradient the month before, and I just really loved the base color, so I decided I wanted to wear it um, where the base color wasn't covered up by anything. And this is gorgeous, you guys. Two coats to get opaque. Amazing formula. Great, great color. Um, this is one of my favorite polishes right now. I had never tried it before, and I'm in love. Totally gorgeous. Um, next combination was next combination was these three polishes. Um, so this one is called This'll Do Nice This'll Do Nicely from China Glaze. I love this polish, you guys. It's like a very gorgeous neon um, coral. It's a little more color accurate when I pull it back from the camera. But it was two coats to get opaque. Um, great formula. I really, really enjoyed this. I think next time I wear this, um, which probably won't be till next summer because I've already put away my summer polishes and I'm getting ready to go into fall, it, I'll wear it alone because I think it would be really pretty just alone, bright, or as a pedicure. The next polish in that combo was Key West from Milani. This is an older polish that I really used to love and I had not worn in a while so I decided to pull it out and um, give it a little bit of love. And this is just a really gorgeous turquoise shimmer. Two coats to get opaque. This is a really gorgeous polish. Once you put top coat on it, it just really glows. It's super, super pretty. And then the last one is from Level Up Lacquer and this came in August Polish Pickup and this is called The Barber and His Wife. So this is kind of like a lighter pink white crally with a ton of multi-chrome flakies. This had a gorgeous formula, you guys. Two coats to get opaque. I thought it was really, really pretty. This was one of the ones I got that seemed a little more um, spring summer, so I wanted to get it on the nails right away just to see how it was. And um, I thought this was a really pretty and interesting combo. Um, the turquoise kind of went back into the flakies on this and then I just thought that this was a nice pop of color. So I really did love this combination. But I didn't wear it very long because I ended up getting spilling a polish on the manicure and so I took it off after a couple days and put on another combo. So, But this was really, really pretty. And then the last combination of the month was um, these three polishes. And I really loved this combo too. I thought it was super, super pretty. Um, for some reason, I don't wear a ton of purple polish. Like if I wear purple, it's kind of more berry leaning. But I really enjoyed these polishes together. So the first one was from Square Hue. This is called Ikeka. I don't know. Um, I'll spell it when I post the picture of the manicure, but this is just a gorgeous um, purple cream, two coats to get opaque. This polish had a great formula, and I really did enjoy the color. I thought it was super pretty. The other polish in the combo was Ornament to be Together from OPI, which is a silver like foil type polish with a little bit of holographic, there you can see it there, a tiny bit of holographic shimmer. This polish is so pretty, you guys. It's so sparkly. Um, I think I'll wear it like as a full manicure, maybe sometime around the holidays because it's really, really pretty. Two coats to get opaque. Gorgeous formula. And then the last polish of the combo is another polish pickup polish. And this is BSB Girl. Um, this was a 90s month. I don't remember what month 90s month was, but um, it's based off the Backstreet Boys. And this was really, really pretty. This isn't the type of polish I usually go for. I bought this more because I like the Backstreet Boys <laughs> than actually like really loving the color. And I really, really enjoyed this. So this is like a lighter lavender polish. And then it has a touch of like blue shimmer and then some silver shimmer. And then there's also some like very transparent looking flakies in there the formula and this was good three coats to get opaque and i'm really glad i picked this up um sometimes sometimes when you step out of the box of what you normally like you're not sure if you're gonna like it and i really really did like this i thought it was super super pretty this was the first time i've ever tried this brand the crystal knockout um 
it seems like they're always on polish pickup but this is the only one i've ever ordered and it was really really nice And I didn't mention it, but it was also my first time for Level Up Lacquer. I had never tried this brand before either, and my first time for Anchor and Heart Lacquer. So just so you guys know, um, those were new brands to me, and I thought they were really, really nice. And um, I like the polish pickup because I feel like I'm expanding my horizons a tiny bit, and I think it's been good. And then I have been extremely lazy on switching out my pedicure. So I only had one pedicure polish this month. And this is Montego Bay from Color Club. Um, I've talked about this polish before. I think this is maybe like the fourth time this summer I have pulled this out. I love this color. It is the most gorgeous turquoise blue. Um, it is a stainer, so if you're gonna wear it, make sure that you double up on base coat because it does stain. But this blue is amazing, you guys. Like, I know how much I really love this because I've worn it so many times in the summer and that usually does not happen. And then just because I'm like totally mesmerized, I want to show you what I have on my nails now. So this is Polished for Days um, when I grow up from August Polish Pickup. This was the one I was telling you guys reminded me of like opals. Look at this. Oh, dying. So this is, I use black undies and then one coat of the um, polish for days. So when I do indie sometimes, I'll do it like that just so that I feel like the indie lasts longer and, you know, I don't want it to run out. But oh, this is one of the most gorgeous polishes I think I've ever put on my nails. I'm in love. I wish I had known how much I was going to love it because I probably would have gotten a backup. So those are all the Skittle manis that I wore for the month of August. Um, I will get that video with everyone else's Skittle manis up in the next few days. Um, like I say, I am sorry, you guys. Like, so much went on this month. My mind was just not completely into polish. Um, so I do apologize for that. I really do feel, like, bad about it. So I will get that up in the next couple of days because there was some really beautiful manis and I want you all to see them. And then um, the next couple of videos, I did put away all of my summer polishes and I put up a fall rack. So I'm hoping to do a video on that hopefully in the next few days. I pulled so much polish for that fall rack. You guys are going to think I'm like literally insane. But there's so much stuff I want to wear and so like... I just pulled it all out. I'm like, whatever happens, happens when it's there. Hopefully it'll like draw my attention to it. And then I've also been debating maybe like a brand a month just because like I have, like Zoya is one brand if, that comes to mind where like I just don't show it the love and attention that I should. And so like maybe if I do a whole month of Zoya manicures. So I'm looking at something maybe like that, like um, September Zoya's or like, I don't know. I'm just kind of trying to think of ways to like get more polish on the nails and push myself to try things that have been sitting around. So let me know if you guys have any ideas for that or like how you guys kind of deal with that in your own collections. Like I don't know if you all have brands that for some reason like you just neglect. But if you do, like how do you get yourself into the groove of like pushing yourself into those brands or like using polish that you haven't tried? Because when I love something, I like want to wear it again. And then I'm like, oh, I have all this other polish. I haven't even tried yet. Like, so I don't know. It's like a kind of thing there that I'm trying to figure out what needs to happen. So give me your ideas for that. Um, if you like this video, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And um, I will see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. I hope you all are having a great day. Bye.